Hi all, um, I was out in the clean up two weeks ago and I found these three baseballs. I don't know much about baseball, but it's got, it might blind you, it's got an um, American flag made in America, um, cork and rubber center, it's got China. So the Chinese are real or are they fake? I don't know. So if you know the names, Give it a yell. Um, I don't know if they're real balls or they're just fake ones. I haven't taken them out of the plastic, so. Um, I don't know if they're printed ones or the real balls. That's a Winston A1044. Um, it's got America on it. Do you know what these are? Sports Productions Corporation. So that's one of them. So it's got. Can you see? It's a bloody light. Maybe you can read all them. Again, sorry. If you know who the names are, because the L. Info about it. MKG something two. The ball is quite dirty, as you can see. Uh, been used because the ball's not clean. So, do you know who they are? I don't know if you can see. That's the one. I don't know if the light's playing up with the camera. I don't know what they're worth. I don't know anything about it. This one's the same. This one's got no name on the bottom. So, it could be a a copy or something. No one's got an American name on it, and this one's got no name on it. No, it's just in a case. Sorry, reflective, but do you know the names? I'm no good at the baseball, so I can't tell you. There's a Winston A1044 as well. Do you know the names on it? Are they real signed or are they fake ones? Not gonna be faded. They don't look like they're printed because they looked on the videos about printed and actually signed. Um, this is made in China. It could be real ones, could be printed ones. I don't know if they're real or fake, but the pens are all different colours. Some of them the ink's faded. As you can see. That G one, it's. I looked on the net, and if they're printed, they'll be all one color, basically. But as you can see they're all faded. Some of them, some of them are different color textures. I don't know if they're any. They're worth anything. And then I found this one. Um, as you can see, all the some of them are <coughs> text is really bad on them. This one's a. No, it's started in China. Um, all the texts and some of them are really faded, some are really bright. So I don't know. See Bradley on it. It's got um products pending. Some sort of thing. So it's a incredible soft touch. The ball looks a bit faded. I don't know if they're worth anything or are they um, worth any money. I don't know. You can see some of the text is dark, some of the text is light, so it's all different. I don't know who's on them. I don't follow baseball, so I can't tell you if they're who they are. Uh, there's all lots of scribbles. So, Eastern, so and decent ball to collect, or it's got BE. I don't know how to. I can't read running writing, so I can't tell you who they are. So, what do you think? Is it the balls worth anything? Um, or which team it comes from? Um, no, 
number 23, player number 34, and player number 12. Don't know if the balls are worth anything. Are they collectible? Do you see all the names? Don't know. Uh, I know they're not printed, because if they were printed, they wouldn't be all faded different colours. And You can see, I don't know, if I can get the light properly, sorry. I've got a headlamp on, but it's probably making it worse. You can see on the text, it's sort of pen strokes, light and dark, so it depends on what pen they use, I suppose. That one's really, I don't know who he is. DL something. So is it a collectible ball? Is it not a collectible ball? Do you know who the players are? I don't know. I don't follow baseball. I'm an Aussie, so I don't really have baseball in Australia. So I don't know if these ones are real. That one's got actually an American thing on it. Um, if you can see it, I don't know. Player number 19, player 21, player 13, 24, player 1. Dice D A I E L or something. I do knew, but they're all faded. That one's smudged. And so he's rubbed his finger across it. That's a bit. You can see on the text if it's. It's got MK or something. Peter's Lotus or something. And these ones are a good bit blurred and faded. Like Someone smirched it, rubbed it in. And as you can see in the text, really close, that it's all different pen writings, so it's not printed. I don't think, I don't think printed it will do smurry finger on it. It's got a dirty f oh. Player 29, player 20, Team Nick, what's the name? Number 20. You can see, if you look close, you can see like the pen's actually drawn in, scratched onto the ball. I don't know if printing would do that. There's all different inks. So I don't know if the same person used the same pen. Know who they are? Info, please. That's got no name on the bottom. China ball. But I don't know if they're printed in China, or fake ones, or real ones. Um, if they were fake, they'll be really white, I know. So you can see in the stitching. I, I think the box is dirty on the outside, but. And clean that. So who do you know who they are? I hope it's not blurry or the camera's making it fidgety. Do not know. It'd be very hard to read recreate if you can see right into that the EL or something it's like sort of faded are they worth anything? are they collectibles? I don't know yeah. it's all blue to that one smudged that one smudged a bit the bees smudged a bit so Info, are they worth anything? Are they collectible? C. Bradley? I, I looked online for C. Bradley, but a black guy came up um, from the 40s or 50s, I think he was. So. Someone's text there is a bit worn out. You can see it. So it's a bit, you can see the different colours in the balls. It's 
definitely that one. So if you know who they are, it'd be nice. Just when the um, camera is in the way. Do so you think it's a collectible ball or is it just a copy? don't think it's copy because they're all... The texts are all different colors, colors, like light, dark, dark, light. So he's really light colored, and then he's got medium darkish, and then he's got a different color. Then he must have had a texture. I don't know <coughs> who that one is. And he can stand, that one stands out, doesn't it? So what do you think? Is it a collectible ball? Is it worth selling? Worth keeping? Info, please. Info. All right. So that's my fandom in Belmont, New South Wales, Australia. So, um, there was a baseball, a bat out there, a cap, some memorabilia from 2000. So we've had these around 2000. So, um, were they into copying balls back in 2000? I don't know. So, are they worth keeping or collecting, selling? I don't know. Is that a one dollar ball or ten hundred thousand dollar ball? Or more? I don't know. Could be worth one dollar, it could be worth a hundred thousand. Who knows? These two may be worth seven or eight thousand dollars or more. There's a lot of singers, yes. I haven't seen many on there like this. In these boxes there's so many signatures. I have not found any with a signature this much on it on the ball. So is it worth more with lots of signatures? Is the players what make the ball written good or bad? I don't know. So are they worth anything? Many, many, many more. Someone wants to buy them, gives an offer. I don't know. I'll ship them worldwide if you want it, and I'll secure the boxes properly, or I'll get a company to do it properly, ship them over to you. I don't know, don't know. I'll find a secure company and get them shipped over properly. If you want to buy them from overseas or Australia, and you buy them in Australia, I'll get a proper courier and secure if you're going to pay good money for them. I don't know. That's all. Info, please. All right. Thanks all for watching. And like and subscribe if you like. I do find some odd things. So. All right. That's all.